Hey everybody, I am going to, as you can see, um, since I already poured the base color, I'm going to try a swipe on black. Um, the same kind of swipe that I have been doing lately, I did on the door, the bathroom door. Um, quite a few of my recent videos, I've used silicone and done these swipes. Um, you can already see divots in this black. It was a pour, I poured over an old painting um, that did have some silicone. So this fresh paint has kind of activated that. Um, the black that I used, it's the same brand as the white, Dutch Boy DuraClean, that I had dyed, uh, colored to true black. So. And I did add a little bit of iridescent medium to it. Ooh, wow, those divots are all over the place. Silicone sure does like to do that. So I don't have no idea how this is going to turn out because every time I've tried to do colors on black, it never turns out quite how I want it to, um, which is why I predominantly just do black and white when I use black as a negative space. Oh my God, there's like all these things in here. Um, but I'm curious and I didn't like this pour anyways that I covered up, so perfect time to experiment. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this into here and like two drops of treadmill silicone. And let's see, I'll just use this to stir it up since it is right next to me. Set that aside. The colors that I'm going to use um, are self-mixed, so they don't have names on them anymore. Um, let's see, I'm going to try to decide which direction. I'll just do like this. So I'm gonna do like I've done the others and just The dribbles of color. And they may sink into the black, which is what I always seem to have the problem of. But you don't know unless you try. And this is, um, ooh, that's neon pink mixed with uh, Liquitex Basic Magenta. And then this is, it's Artist Law Vermilion, but there's been some other things added um, and there is iridescent medium in this too. Yellow. And there's paint mixing videos. Just click on my face underneath the video. It'll take you to the YouTube, my YouTube homepage, and you'll see. Um, different playlists and 400 and some other videos. <laughs> All right, so there is a ton of paint on here now. So now I'm going to pour the 
paint with the silicone just right over the top. And now I need to, ah, let me see, I knew I had, let me just use the wrappers from my canvas paintings. I'm going to kind of bend this a little bit. Oh, I got white on there. I don't want white. All right, so now I'm going to Yeah, definitely not as impact as the white. Let's see what happens when I torch. Yeah, that is definitely um, not exciting. I have a little bit of white with the silicone left over from my last painting. So let's see what happens with that. Well, the white was definitely a good choice. Let's just how the white formed right there. But gosh, I mean, I was just my gut was gonna say, "Ew, no." But it is absolutely fascinating to look at. I don't know. I mean, there's a, I don't know. Let's see how much paint there is though right here. Not terribly too much. Um, I'm worried it will, there is a lot of paint. So, I mean, there is a chance that it will dry with a texture to it um, due to the thickness of the paint. But there is already kind of a wonky texture on it from the previous painting, which I think was a painting over another pour. So this might be like the third 
third go around of this of this piece of MDF. In which case, yeah, it may just dry weird. But usually with resin, you don't even notice that weirdness. This is bothering me immensely. I don't know. This is how I'm looking at it. Which is how it is. It, it's pretty cool. I think I, I think I do like it and I'm definitely going to leave it and let it dry. It's kinda... Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's so different for me, which I think is why I'm having such a, you know, reaction to it. Um. Ah. Keep you focused. Here's all my junk. Yeah, look at all the silicone. All those divots. And this may keep changing a little bit because the silicone will keep it changing. It shouldn't change too much. The cells may just get a little bigger. So thank you so much for watching. I am very excited to see what this looks like once it is dry. Catch you next time. Bye.